Y'all have to excuse me. I had a long day today, so I'm letting I'm getting my Sunday video out a little late. But I said I have to get this video out to you guys because I had so many people ask me questions about prices. Yes, prices. All right, so tonight we're going to be talking about prices. How do you price Airbnb? How do you price move-in, move-outs? How do you price um, residential and commercial? I want to start off with saying when you start, when you first start your cleaning business, you got to understand that people are going to call you, mainly other cleaning companies are going to call you just to try to get your price. Okay, and this is how you know whether it's really a client or it's, it's a, another cleaning company. I always seem to think it's another cleaning company because they, first of all, never give the price over the phone. I never give out a price over the phone because they'll just, they'll call you and they'll ask, well, what's your prices on uh, deep clean, three bedroom? Well, you just tell them, well, I'm sorry, ma'am. It really depends on the size of the house and uh, how much traffic is coming in the house. If you'd like to set up a walkthrough, I'll be glad to set a walkthrough up um, with you tomorrow afternoon. Are you available? You know, brush them off like that. And if they say yes, um, yeah, you, we, what about three o'clock? Then, okay, most likely that might be a client. But if they say, um, nah, uh, can you just give me a ballpark? <laughs> um, I really, I don't, I don't like giving ballpark numbers and stuff like that over the phone. I like to try to seal the walkthrough because most likely when I get that walkthrough, I'll get that client. And that's just another way to just get the, the, uh, other people out of the way. I mean, Competition is always going to call you and they're going to try to get your prices and um, just so they can, you know, compete or whatnot. But they want to know what the competition is talking about around town or they might be a new cleaning company and they might be trying to uh, figure out prices to start off with. Well, if that's the case, I have a whole YouTube video on it right now. <laughs> All right, so just don't let it, don't be discouraged or whatnot, but try your best not to give out prices over the phone. Try to seal that walkthrough, okay? Try to get that walkthrough in, you know? That way, if it's just somebody BSing around or whatnot, they, if they serious, they'll, they'll do the walkthrough with you. If they're not, then they probably, they're not a serious client. That's how I, that's how I take it. Um, but anyway, now that that said, I want to say Airbnbs, when an Airbnb calls me, I usually do a walkthrough and I'll look online before I never give a quote at the walkthrough, by the way, I always ask them for their email address and then I got time to go home and I tell them, give me your email address and I'll email you the quote. That's what I always tell them. That gives me time to go home, brainstorm, and I get to go on my computer and look up the Airbnb and see what they're charging people to stay there. So if they're only charging someone $120 a night, then I know I can't charge them $120 to, that makes no sense, to clean the unit, to turn the unit. So um, your price would probably be half of that. Um, you also need to look at how many rooms it has. Um how many bathrooms it has, you know, you're normal. You have to look at the size of it. And if you've been a cleaner for a while, it will come It will come to a point where you can walk in an office or you can walk in a, a house and you can tell off back how much you're going to charge for it. Like normally, I know the price when I'm walking out of the door, shaking their hand and telling them I'll email you the quotes, okay? I know the price then um, because I've cleaned so many houses before you know what i mean but if you're newbie if you're a newbie and you really don't know how to price it i'll give you some ballpark prices to start off with uh a three bedroom your normal three bedroom two bathroom 
general clean, they you they typically run between 120 and 150, okay? And two or three bedroom. You're going to be looking at between 120 and 150 for that general clean. Now, deep cleans are different. Deep cleans would run for houses, apartments, whatever, would run between 150 and it can go up to three, 400, depending on the size of the house. Okay, so if it's a normal size house, like a $150,000 house, you're probably gonna be looking at 150 for that deep clean. But if it's a 300 or a, one of those big half million dollar houses, you know you got you can't pay you can't charge 150. You just gotta use your brain. You know if it's a huge house, of course you have to charge more. But that's a ballpark that you can start off with and just keep in your mind when you're looking at two bedrooms and three bedrooms because you're mostly gonna look at two and three bedroom houses and apartments. Um, for all of my clients that call me, I just did a walkthrough on a apartment yesterday and I charged her uh, 150 for a move out cleaning. And this was a client that found, uh, found us off of Google, a Google ad. So she found this off of a Google ad. We don't have a contract with that person. So anybody that comes to us and we don't have contracts with them, it's an automatic between 150 and up for a move out cleaning, okay? So um, that's my take on Airbnb. Just make sure that, make you, sure you look at the house, see what they're charging and charge them maybe half of what they're charging. I mean, you both, both of you guys got to make a profit. I have a unit, I have an Airbnb unit that we charge 64 and it's probably, it takes one person an hour and a half to turn it, which is a plus. You know what I mean? If, if it only takes a one person an hour and a half to turn it, then I can put a cleaner in there and pay the cleaner half or maybe 40 bucks or whatnot. You know what I mean? That's kind of how you have to look at that because that'll be a unit that I can throw a cleaner in between, uh, in between clean. You know, if they have one unit, they can go and do that and make an extra 40 bucks or whatnot. So that's how you got to look at it. Airbnbs, Make sure you look them up and price according to what they're pricing. That's what I do, okay? If they're pricing like $300 a stay, then of course my price is going to go up a little bit because if it's $300 a stay, it's probably a huge Airbnb. You know what I mean? So it's going to take some time. You got to think about it. Your Airbnb work is like housekeeping work. It's just, if, if you've ever been a housekeeper before, it's just like housekeeping work. You have to wash, but except you got to wash sheets and you have to wash uh, towels and stuff like that. So you're washing sheets, you're washing towels. I had one that was on the island and it took four hours to turn. In that particular unit, we charged 124 because the cleaner had to be there for four hours. So... If they gotta be there for four hours, you gotta you have to pay them pay them well, you know, um, and you both both of you guys gotta make a profit. So Airbnbs, that's my take on Airbnbs. Move out cleans. If they're not on a contract, I start at one fifty and up, okay. And um, if they are on a contract, your base prices would be between one twenty and 150 so for move out cleans move in move out apartments if you have a contract with them you can start off at 120 for a one bedroom and a two bedroom for a three bedroom 135 for a four and five bedroom most likely you won't see no five bedroom but for a four bedroom 150 those are like our base prices whenever we're on the contract with a uh, apartment complex because they're constantly throwing us work so we don't want to charge them 150 for every clean and plus some of the cleans are like really really easy cleans you know you got your hard ones but you got to think about all the easy ones that you got too you know what i mean 
So I have some cleans that might take one clean or five hours to clean. And I have some cleans that will take one clean or two hours to clean. You know what I mean? So either way, the price is going to be the same. We don't go by the hour. I'm never, never priced by the hour. I hate it. I do know some companies that do. They charge uh, $25 an hour. And um, I don't want to charge $25 an hour because if I go out there and we do this, a whole house in two hours, which we have before, you mean tell me all I made was $50? No, that's not sustainable for me. I'm not, nah. So I charge by the unit. That's what I do. Um, and those are just ballpark prices for move out cleans. Okay. At the end of this video, I actually took a few, I took my camera around today to show you guys a few office cleans and uh, move out cleans. So you can kind of get an idea of the price and exactly how it looks. Okay. So you'll see that at the end of the video. Um, the third thing I wanted to talk about was your pricing for commercial cleans okay so your commercial buildings when you do your walkthrough hmm, a small office the smallest office we have is a uh it's a lawyer's office and that is a 75 dollar clean and it would take a it would take no more than an hour to clean that like no more than an hour, an hour and 30 minutes. If you, if you went there trying to do some extra stuff and really be extra, but you can be in and out of the unit in an hour and it's a $75 clean. You see what I'm saying? So the largest offices, and I'll show you a picture. So I'll show you a video so you can kind of get the idea, but the larger offices that we have are, they, they run between 135 and 150 the larger offices that we have and they generally for two people take an hour and a half to clean one person no more than three hours to clean okay and it's easy cleans you're not in there scrubbing no stove and nothing you're just wiping off desks and wiping up dusting off chairs and and uh spot cleaning the glass Sweep, mop the floor. It's a basic general clean, okay? It doesn't take much sweat to get it done. I love doing office cleans, okay? So, anyway, that's the ballpark on all of the um, all of my prices, okay? Uh, office cleans, Airbnbs, and houses, and move outs, okay? Now, on these videos, I'm going to show you a few of my units, so you can kind of get a ballpark of what I'm talking about. You kind of get a visual. You need to get a visual, okay? So check it out. Okay, you guys, I'm gonna do a quick video. This is a office clean. I'm gonna let you guys check it out. It's actually a upstairs and a downstairs. And this particular unit right here, we charge one, 50. It's 75 for upstairs and 75 for downstairs. And I'm just showing you this as an example. Okay. There's not a lot of computer computers in here. It's one, two, two in the back, two in the front. See? It's real easy clean. We wipe off the desk, we dust the chairs off, we wash this floor. It has two restrooms, small bathrooms, but they barely use these bathrooms in here. They barely use them. So it's real, real easy clean. And this is how the other bathroom looks, okay? So upstairs is 75, downstairs is 75. So in all, it's 150 for this unit. And how long did it take us? About an hour and 30 minutes. It took us about an hour and 30 minutes, guys. See what I'm saying? 150.
All right, guys, and this is downstairs. This is how downstairs looks. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three. Desk. Okay, so there's six desks, and we just wipe off the desks, we take out the trash. If they have empty boxes, we take the boxes, put them in the trash. We dust off the chairs in here, we sweep, we mop, and wipe off the tables. It's your regular general clean. We vacuum the rug, and downstairs is only one bathroom. You've seen upstairs, upstairs is two bathrooms. So downstairs is one small bathroom and it's dark here. Let me cut on the light so you can see. Okay, downstairs is just that small bathroom here. See? Only thing in here, toilet. Easy clean, right? We wash the dishes. If they have any dishes, and we wipe off everything, okay? And take out the trash. And they have a little closet area there where we vacuum that as well. So it is, like I said, guys, 75 downstairs, 75 upstairs. Easy clean. And it took me and my cleaner an hour and 30 minutes to complete this unit. I'm letting you guys in on my world a little bit here. Let's go to the next one. All right, guys, we are walking into my second office. I'm gonna show you a really, really quick view. Now, this is one of the largest offices, the larger offices that we have. There's the room there. And Here's a room here. There's another room. There's another room. And then there's a larger area. Okay. And in this particular unit here, where you see several desks and computers um, it's two bathrooms in here and for this particular unit you can charge anywhere between 135 and 150 per clean okay so when you're coming in all you're doing is wiping off the desk wiping off the chairs um, the very first time we did this unit we did a deep clean in this unit and that's where we just went we did a really really detailed clean baseboards and vents so we have to take out the recycling so we did a really really detailed clean the first time we came here we did these glass you see the glass window we cleaned the glass inside out <clears throat> and that's a totally different charge for a deep clean but i'm talking about as far as a general clean in the office facility when we come in we'll be washing these dishes they have in here we'll wash all the dishes put the dishes up we'll take out the trash it's your normal office clean and this unit here will take me and my cleaner about an hour and 30 minutes to complete and if it takes two people an hour and 30 minutes to complete then it would probably take one person three hours to complete okay the main thing the main goal is to keep up with your unit keep up with your unit make sure that you're detail cleaning your unit um all the time you see my stuff don't get dusty because i'm always going above and beyond you know so when one day if you're in here and I'm, i might have a sick day or something like that I don't have to worry because I know my baseboards are done because I'm always, 
you know, going above and beyond in my cleaning at all times. Okay. So this is just a quick view of office number two. And you can charge anywhere between 135, 150 for a unit. I know some people that charge more, but that's a really, really good price to start off with for this unit. Ooh, it's a nice ship. Beautiful view. And we are now complete. This is after, I'm gonna let you guys take a look. I just shined the sink up with my favorite liquid gold, baby. If you ain't using this to shine your stuff up, I don't, I don't know what you're using, honey. But uh, take a look at the stove. My daughter did the stove area. And I'm not going to lie, this unit actually took us uh, less than an hour and a half to clean. I know I said it was going to be an hour and a half. But this unit took us less than an hour and a half to clean. We did really good on time on this unit. We washed the windows, we washed the blinds, on top of the refrigerator, inside the refrigerator. Take a look. We also pulled the appliances out and we swept and mopped behind them and on the sides. We're mopping our way out now. We wash the windows. I hate the track of this floor. This needs to be painted, but we did wash the vents. We hand washed the fans, windows, blinds, and we had to do baseboards in this unit. Same for the second room. And here's the bathroom. Voila. Magic. Mm hmm Bad. But it took us less than an hour and a half to complete this unit. So just letting you guys know when your employees don't show up, you got to be ready. You got to be trained to go at all times. Okay. Okay, you guys, so that's my take on it. That is everything I have for you tonight. Just keep in mind that these prices may change if you're in different cities or whatnot. So you might want to call around and check around and see um, what other people are charging as well so that you can be up with to date with everybody else. You don't want to be charging uh, 85 and everybody else in your city is charging 150 or whatnot. But um that's my take on it, you guys. Um, make sure you like, comment, subscribe down low, share, show your girl some love, okay? If you got any kind of value out of this video, I wanted to share my world with you today. And I hope you guys got some value out of it. So, until next week.